As a result of the course, my most immediate goals were to start eating more fruits and vegetables because coming from home, I really didn't have a very healthy eating habit. My goal was to at least get seven hours of sleep. To definitely get more sleep, I was averaging sometimes five hours of sleep a night. Sometimes I wouldn't sleep. I also had very poor time management skills, so I've been doing a lot better with that. I set a lot of goals throughout this course and it was a really good learning experience for me. I set goals like making sure I was exercising a certain number of days a week, making sure I was eating a certain amount of vegetables a day, and I learned a lot about setting goals for myself and I'm continuing to do that even now that the course is over. At times good and at times not so good, um, but for the most part, I mean, after a while when you see results, even if it's just a little bit, it's the good motivation to keep me uh, going and keep on trying to meet the goals. I now get six to seven hours of sleep, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm eating a lot healthier now, and I'm actually getting exercise in at least once every other day. Getting my fruits and vegetables in daily is, is a challenge. So I'm still working on that one, but sleep-wise, I definitely feel that I am I'm getting a lot more healthy amount of sleep every night. It's been going well so far. Um, I mean, there's times when you can't avoid not sleeping if you're stressed out or something like that. It's tough, especially now in April with finals coming up, um, but I'm trying. It's a conscious effort. I'm not one of those uh, go in the gym every day, get a workout buddy, but it's, it's, I've been trying to overcome those challenges and it's great and the way I overcame it was stay motivated. Now I have a friend like, oh, you want to work out today? Let's go. Or you want to do some dance and then we'll play, throw in some music and actually do some dance. Sometimes we go on the walk. I just have fun with it. And that's how I overcame some of my challenges, actually having fun with what I'm doing. I am a social butterfly. I love hanging out with my friends. I love, you know, socializing. And sometimes it's hard to put things in front of that that aren't as fun. And so it's kind of been a challenge to do the boring things first, but I've learned that's what I need to do. Definitely the aspect of procrastination in college, it's a big one. Um, so a lot of the times if I have homework or lots of assignments piling up, it would be hard to eat right. I'd rather grab a bag of chips. I would say the most challenging thing is actually just starting to run. I mean, when you're starting to run, you're just kind of like, gasping and kind of walking, running, you're not really running because you're just, you know, you're just not really into it. But as you keep going, you'll realize that it's pretty fun because when you're running, you can let your mind drift and let your body do all the work. Accomplishing my goal of getting at least seven hours of sleep every night was just the amount of homework I had to do. So I had to really look at how I was spending my time and make sure that, you know, maybe that two hours between classes that I had that I used to go get lunch in, maybe I'd pack a sandwich and go to the library instead. I don't always sleep seven, a day, uh, seven to eight hours a day, so some of that stuff is still a challenge for me, but most of it, it's a routine. I tend to do it every day for the most part. Right now I feel like it's still in the transitioning period of becoming um, sort of like a routine and just an everyday thing that I don't have to think about. It's still kind of a challenge, but it's definitely becoming part of my routine. Sometimes I struggle with it just because it's still new to me. I mean, I took the course last semester, so I'm still adapting to the lifestyle. I've lived this way for 21 years. Um, it's going to be a challenge, but it's becoming more of a lifestyle for me because I've seen the positive changes that this course has helped me make. It's become more of like, like really routine just because I know if I don't have those nut nutrients in my body, I'm just I'm dead the entire week and I can really feel it. The sleep goal, I would definitely say has become a routine. Sometimes it's a challenge, especially when I'm in a rush and I just want to get something to eat and I may not, I may not be close enough to get something healthy enough to eat. It's become more like a routine now. Now I don't, I don't even think about it. I come home and I go straight to um, the treadmill or something and I'm not even realizing that I'm doing that.
I'm not very good at eating breakfast in the morning just because I love sleep, but um, it actually really, really helps. I always feel more focused um, in my classes when I eat breakfast and I have way more energy and I'm not like starving by the middle of the day. So it's um, that's one of the goals that I've been working on and it's slowly getting there. <laughs> For me, they've now become routine because I've been doing them throughout the week and then now it's kind of always in the back of my head. I remember that one week I had this goal and then it kind of motivated, has been motivating me to keep going with the same goal. My new goal is to actually start balancing my life more. Um, as a college student, I know work and school is a lot of effort because you had to pay for school, so of course you have to work. But you know, you don't forget your family and don't forget your friends. I'm just trying to maintain um, the healthy eating um, for my apartment next year. My goal is to definitely stock it up with lots of fresh foods, um, cook my own food, and make sure it's healthy instead of eating out a lot. I'd really like to continue to eat well and sleep right and exercise. Those are big steps in my life and I'm really reaping the positive benefits. New goals that I'm setting for myself are really about, I never really was conscious about how much exercise I got, so now I've been kind of tracking things and it's been a really a good thing for me to keep that goal. So I've been meeting a certain number of fitness classes a week and a certain amount of miles on the treadmill, so that's been really fun for me. preparing my own food, making my own food, instead of always going to fast food restaurants to eat, or just, I mean, going to fast food restaurants every once in a while, it's okay, but not like going there every day, or, so I learned to actually make my own food, and sometimes it's always fun, make it with your family, which makes it more fun and easier, because then somebody's there with you. For me, the most effective things in the course were the logging activities um, because I have always kind of resisted looking at where my time is actually going. You know, I'll, I'll say I'm going to sit down and study for half an hour, but how much of that time do I actually spend on Facebook? So having to carry around a pen and paper all day for, you know, four or five days in a row and look at how I'm spending my time with regards to sleeping, with regards to eating, with regards to exercising made me truly look at what I was doing and how I could change it for the better. Definitely the prioritizing and the list making, which is something that I've always done, but um, it's definitely um, something that I find is even more important, especially now in college, just making sure to always keep aware of what's going on. I use my planner all the time to like make sure that I know what I'm doing every day and have a plan. I uh, basically just got a whiteboard and I have a whiteboard and I set it up every week before my week begins and I go by that and that's really helpful in, in prioritizing and keeping things straight. I think what works for me is just to kind of keep a mental tally. Uh, as much as I, you know, do write things down, but to kind of keep a mental run as to what I've been doing during the day. To make a schedule. In the beginning I'd have to schedule eating because I would do so many things that I'd forget to eat or I wouldn't exercise for the day. and. Knowing how much you have to do and allotting yourself enough time to do it is the most important thing you can do in college. I really wasn't leading such a healthy life. I thought I was, you know, I was exercising, uh, living what I consider the teenage life. Um, and I didn't really realize the impact that that could have on my body and potentially my, my grades and, and other things like that. I didn't understand the ripple effect that leading a less than a healthy lifestyle can have. And so the insight that I had was to actually make an attempt to, you know, not only better my, my health, but to try and make that ripple effect positive in my grades and in my active life and my social life by getting more sleep and by eating healthier and managing stress better. Um, a lot of the things that sleeps, eats, and exercises uh, takes into account during the course. I had talked to my teaching assistant about not really eating as healthy as I should have and, you know, making it, it's hard because I would only go grocery shopping once a month and all my fresh produce would run out and, I mean, it seems like such a small thing, but she suggested going grocery shopping every week and that's really made an impact. It's definitely increased my healthy eating. 
learning about weight training versus cardio and things like that. I, I think I learned so much that I, whenever I'm working out now, I'm more conscious like, well, I just did this for a half hour. Maybe I should work on this part of my body. It just taught me some things that I wasn't aware of before. The most useful insight I would have was when we were doing the food chart for a week. That's when I realized, wow, I eat a lot of nothing with a lot of calories. The most useful insight I had while taking sleep, eats, and exercises was the realization that I wasn't really healthy. I didn't have any major health problems that I needed to be aware of, um, but just really overall recognizing that I wasn't treating myself right and I needed to reevaluate my behavior and fix that. You can be a, a thin person, but you're not fit. It's, it's not like a substitute for it. And uh, I learned that it's definitely it's more worth it to actually make the right decisions and not try to cut corners on it. And it's it's, it's definitely worth it, especially for the long term uh, of your life, to make the healthy choices and you know live a long, healthy life. Just mostly the portion sizes of different food. I think um, in one of the lessons, seeing what the actual portions were after guessing what I thought they were, it's crazy to think how much um, people overeat. Or even when you get served in restaurants, you're getting like three times the portion size. So that was really surprising. Having to to look at where my nutrition was coming from was kind of shocking. I think the most surprising insight was when I realized how little nutritious like the little bit of nutrition that was in some of the food I was eating and after I learned some of that I was able to like adjust my diet a little bit and now I kind of look at some foods a little bit differently than I maybe did before. Staying positive and staying motivated. I had to really step back and think of how I was taking care of myself, making sure I was getting enough sleep, making sure that especially now that I was responsible for buying my own food that I was making the right decisions and uh, really making an effort to be active beyond walking to the bus stop in the morning. If I got any one message is to be very proactive on how you handle you know, your life and how you make decisions about your life.